the week-long event on new space and the future technologies and practices in satellite Earth observation has come to a close. But let's take a look at some of the Fee Week highlights. We're at a point in history and a point in time right now that hasn't happened before in Earth observation. Some 700 participants convened at ESA's center in Frascati, Italy, to explore how space and Earth observation can benefit from the latest digital technologies and to springboard ideas as ESA drives innovation with its activities. FEE, the FEE department, stands for Future Systems. So we want to look into the future, but also have a system approach where we combine satellites with all other measurements to better use this data for the purpose of a, of a citizen. Looking to the future, Fee Week highlighted new technologies, trends in Earth observation and the wider space sector, as well as practices that are making science more accessible. Citizen science is um, a number of forms of scientific research that involves people without scientific training in various stages of the process. So they can be helping with data gathering, they can be helping with the process of data, they can be helping, helping with data analysis. It's getting them involved at any stage. During the week, young professionals collaborated on new ideas and business models that offer solutions to real-world problems with Earth observation data in the first ever Fee Week Boot Camp. In undeveloped countries, there's a lot of waste which causes disease and they don't have energy. So if we can connect these two things and then with the information provided through satellites, we can overlay all this information with this device to then help those people there. It's about trying to gather information from satellite imagery plus information that's produced by farmers and information, existing information about weather and uh, soil conditions to try to help farmers uh, manage their crops. We want to use big data and methods of Industry 4.0 to find the perfect location for companies and industry that plans uh, new subdivisions. The Earth Observation data sets are absolutely massive um, and a lot of people uh, actually use a fraction of that, the, what the, that the Earth Observation data that's delivered to them. So we're really trying to crunch it down to uh, much more sizable pieces that match the semantic need of that user. So we're developing uh, a web-based dashboard to uh, improve uh, water usage in agriculture for food production. We want to make a better health for the European people, to make it more sustainable rice and to, to produce inside Europe. And we, we want to use the open satellite data to giving them all kinds of service what they basically need. Conference participants also got the chance to visit the new Data Visualization Center. Called the Fee Experience, this hands-on exhibition area offers visitors the opportunity to interact with the information coming from satellites and discover new things about our environment. Now we have everything we need to make commercial success of Earth observation in the new era of space. The business potentials of Earth observation also came into focus, as well as advances in artificial intelligence, big data and computing, and how converging technologies are changing real life and the space sector. Uh, you have really created a very vibrant uh, scene and landscape of uh, activities in uh, uh, which point towards the future. I'm very happy what I have seen. I thank you all for coming and I wish you a good return back home. Thank you very much. I think the Fee Week will uh, really leave uh, an important legacy of uh, new ideas and we will uh, certainly go through all the uh, inputs provided and uh, we have really a lot of work in front of us to uh, really deliver now. And that wraps up our coverage of Fee Week. A special thanks to the event organizers, the participants and to the ESA Web TV crew, Stefano Palchetti and Marco Civita. I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels and from all of us here at ESA's Ezrin Establishment in Frascati, Italy, have a great day.